will see the path name a complete path of the image so that's cool now I need to write one different thing we'll see that how to write how to send a value to particular file so before I'm writing this you see when I go to my website I'll add one simple thing which is called a uh, handler okay you can see the generic handlers you can you can send the request to like uh, whenever you're writing Ajax or you, if you want to send any kind of uh, request to other file you can you can use generic handler to send uh, you can use the generic handler to um, update the values okay uh, so I say upload handler okay so you see simply these things remove this now I need to write a simple file in this edge simple things in this area so simply go here and I'll write first thing I'll write using uh, system dot I will okay save next thing you see next you have to write a simple ways okay I'll write string I'll write path equals to I uh, say uh, what is that exactly you you're gonna get in this area you write a context dot request request of a path so whatever the path I'm gonna send it will store in this string now I write uh, simply a file info okay I say f and is equals to new file info of you see it's asking for the string file name so where the file name is so simply write path so simply it's going to select that from that path and it will store in this area okay now next next thing is you'll see whenever I pass the whenever I click on this it has to exit all the statements okay so simply I have everything so I'll simply go to I'll simply do one simple things in this area okay I'll say fn dot before doing this I'll create one file one folder which is called uploads okay now it's got it uh, now I got it upload folders in my website now I need to copy this one okay I need copy to off you see it's asking for the destination file where you have to store this file so simply it says what it's asking uh, it's, you can see simply it, it's gonna store into that folder so simply what do you do I go here and I'll put this one and I'll say sorry for that uh, write context dot server dot uh, map path off in this area I'll write uh, there is a you path complete path I'll say uploads okay uploads and slash I'll put slash in this area plus fn dot name so whenever I send the file it will copy this file to uploads now you see sorry uh, now we I'll send one some information to my something like uh, a size of the file and uh, uh, size of the file and uh, what is the name of the file and uh, what kind of type it is we're gonna send these things will to to uh, to main page okay so response all right response dot write okay now here you see in this area I simply write uh, fn okay dot what is that I'll write name comma it's asking for sorry it's asking for index and counter I, I, I just want to use this one okay I'll just put this one uh, plus mm, fn so it looks like kind of a uh, J uh, JSON format but it's not a JSON format it's a completely different one okay so now next thing is a length of the file I'll write length of the file okay it's written in the bytes okay 
okay and I'll send one more thing which is a uh, extension okay extension of the file so now I am sending these three to my file okay I'm saving this one now I go here you see in this area here whenever I click on this I need to pass the statement to that particular handler so but I need to pass the path to that particular handler so now what do we do so here I, I write dollar dot post is the one of the ajax function from the jquery and i'll write in this area i write upload handler upload handler dot asp uh, sorry as hx it's a, a generic handler right it's a as hx extension now here i write path you the whatever the whatever you giving in the request string so you simply write this request string in this area okay next you write the path what 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 you are passing the string you'll just write the path okay so simply say comma and here here i have to write a function it's a response you'll write the response of the response in this area okay so simply i'll put one thing which is you can see in this area i'll say dev okay i write res sorry id equals to res okay now save it now you see whenever i click on this it has to perform these things so first thing what do you do i go here and uh, this area we do we do something which is you can see I'm really sorry I'm okay now here we whatever the data are coming in it I have to split that into three parts so I simple way to split it that's why I put the each and every area I'll put the colon you see this this is a colon okay I just co put the colon so I said D equals to uh, I said data dot split split with um, where we have a colon okay now it becomes an array so that I can easily put this one in my area so I simply write this uh, hash res dot what is that right html okay now you see in this area I write a uh, file name so first thing I'm sending a file name right so I write file name this for d of 0 okay and I'll put a plus I write br now here next thing what you are sending next one is uh, next one is a length length so you write uh, size okay I put D of 1 plus okay next next one is same BRs all right BR and next one is what next one you're writing what extinction type all right what is that type so simply write in this area okay now here I write plus uh, D of what is that exactly so I simply oh, okay now save it now execute this one it's a it's almost done so you can see if you execute this one in the Firefox you okay that's it so now execute this one right click on this and say view in browser you see this is an internet explorer okay now click on this one select any file as a select so upload you see the file name so that uh, uh, close this one and go to your uploads and you'll see refresh and you can see tulips so this is uploaded so this is how you do uploading using jquery Thank you very much. Bye.